So yeah, I just bought a new truck and then immediately crashed it right after buying it. It's like the classic gauge moment. Finally getting something good and then screwing it up immediately. Anyways, I bought a 93 F-150. So after I bought this truck and I got it in our near our garage, I was like, let's go. This is so dope. And I was showing my sister around in the truck and I took her on a drive around the block, which by the way, really stupid idea. I do not have a license. And my truck doesn't even have plates. So if a copper saw that, I would have gotten pulled over and then I found out that I don't have a license. So that was such a dumb idea to do. But it was around the block. We were out for three minutes, maybe. I parked it wrong in front of the barn. So I was like, oh, I'll fix it later before somebody else gets home and scratches up my truck. A few hours passed, I was home alone. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna move the truck now. It's getting late at night and I wanna do it when it's light out. I backed up and everything and I was like, cruising and then I started going forward a little slowly and let me give you some backstory in my mom's Chevy it's a 2015 gas and the brake is this far apart so and this is the only truck I've really driven and they're this far apart so I'm really used to just like switching between the brake and gas I was going in front of the barn I went to press the brake because I wanted to park and I couldn't find it I, and I kept on going forward and this scared me and so I was like holy crap and then I found whatever pedal I could with my foot which was the gas pedal and I accelerated maybe to 15 miles per hour into our barn <laughs> and thank god i did not destroy the truck i may have like messed up the transmission putting it into park because i never did find that brake pedal and it's just the driving is kind of awkward because the the gas pedal is so far down too brake pedal is so far up and so it's odd driving this truck when you just came from a brand new truck man does this truck absolutely slap like look at these cool neat little lights back here yeah those are shoot those are dope it rides great has 60,000 miles i got it for well i don't want to say the price but i got it for a good price really happy about it because it feels like i'm taking a step in my life into not a good direction but a better direction because obviously i'm gonna have the freedom now of driving around now i just gotta get my license so hopefully i'm not like spongebob playing around for the next 20 years trying to get it so <laughs> <laughs> I was actually meaning to take the five hour exam today, but you know, it just slipped my mind because I've been working full time and things have been different. And I can't even really say that my situation was comfortable already. Really nice change of pace in life to do something different. And I think this truck was a big step for me because now I'm gonna be able to go on a camping trip when I want to, which was something that was never a possibility before. Or I can go on a freaking road trip with my dog. Just chilling in the seat, listen to country roads. Like, look at my, it's an XLT. Got this sick bench. And then just, yeah, sick dash. Pretty much all normal stuff. Mirror, yeah, mirror. I'm not doing full time at the restaurant job. I'm actually doing maybe 30 hours a week there and then doing anywhere from 10 to 20 with the cleaning business. It, it depends on the week, really different, but I gotta say, my back is doing hella better than it was a few months ago. And that's enough to be appreciative for. And I got this truck. I'm gonna be cruising around once I get my license. I just wonder where, where everything will take me next. And I love doing YouTube. I wanna stay doing it, but there's obviously, it's gonna take me a few weeks to acclimate to the new job and everything and not having a lot of time because, hey, that those those first two weeks at this job on my days off i was like i was getting out of bed at 1 p.m and <laughs> that means i was sleeping for over 12 hours i was getting home at 11 30 and then sleeping that long and now this morning i actually got up at nine o'clock so hey that's pretty good and i started watching i just started watching the new stranger things season today i like it i'm not as obsessed with stranger things as i once was back in the day when season three came out because i was a high schooler then i kind of related to the content a little bit but now i'm a grown man and it's like okay yeah entertainment booyah but i feel like this truck will be a center of new content some videos cruising around on the back roads talking about life and this is just the start of it all 
And yeah, that's the story of how I crashed my truck the first day. Luckily, I got by with just a little scratch and hopefully nothing happened to the transmission. But yeah, I got some videos coming on the way because I've been working on them for a long time now. I just never finished them. I never put the finishing touches on them. And so I'm hoping back to get back to normal scheduling soon. Who knows though, I still gotta focus on getting my license. So maybe I should focus up on that rather than doing this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. It's a new step in my life, man. I got a truck. I got a job. Who knows what else? I'm working on I'm working on building a cabin again since my back is better. And let me tell you, you may do a YouTube series on it. Who knows? Who knows? The possibilities are endless, baby. Uh, I want to do it, but the thing is, every time I get I'm ready to work on the cabin, it's like, do I really want to set up a tripod? First of all, my tripod's broken and I can't be bothered to buy another one because it's not like I make a profit on YouTube. When I get that whole situation, it's a whole hassle setting up recording. So I don't even want to do it. That's been the trouble because I've been working on the cabin a little bit and every time I get out there, I'm like, frick this, man. I don't want to bring my phone out into the woods. It kind of ruins it. I definitely want to do something with the cabin. There will definitely be videos where I, you know, just talk in front of the the fireplace in the rocking chair but that there's things to come man i know i took a two week break after c consistently posting every week this year but hey that doesn't mean anything let my actions speak for themselves and i'm really excited for this i can't wait to cruise around and talk and yeah guys thanks for watching the video subscribe if you want uh, to be here for more stuff I don't know why you would, because I'm just talking about my life. Who cares, really? I love you guys. Peace. And I just realized I've been talking all this time about life, and I didn't even tell you the story. So, I'm probably just going to cut this up and put this in the beginning. So, let me talk about that.